Hello, future sharks, and welcome to our application webinar for our Masters of Science programs. My name is Angelica Zadak, and I represent the Graduate Admissions Department at Nova Southeastern University's College of Computing and Engineering, or the CCE for short. As a heads up, everyone will be muted during this presentation for the best sound quality. The goal of this presentation is to guide you through our application requirements, process, and provide suggestions to help you prepare a competitive application for our graduate programs at the CCE. So let's dive right in. We currently have seven Master of Science degree programs, each 30 credit hours and consisting of 10 courses. They are computer science, cybersecurity management, data analytics, information assurance and cybersecurity, information systems, information technology, and technology and organizational leadership. The courses last for eight weeks and are available online, on campus, or as a combination of both. Please keep in mind some programs offer mostly online courses and might not be suitable for students who require all or mostly on-campus courses. If you need on-campus courses, please contact us and we'd be happy to discuss these programs in more detail. The programs are designed to be completed in one year. However, depending on the amount of coursework you plan on taking per semester, and if you plan on being a full-time or part-time student, it could take on average between 12 to 24 months to complete. You can take up to four courses per eight-week session, and you'll have a maximum of five years to complete the program. Let's take a look at our admission requirements. You'll need a bachelor's degree with a 2.5 overall GPA, an online application with the $50 application fee, all official transcripts, a resume, and program-specific admission requirements. So for the transcripts, please allow sufficient time to submit official transcripts. Most of the time it's fine, but just in case there are any delays in the transcript request system or if there are processing issues from your previous institution. So we do not accept copies of transcripts for review purposes. However, however, note that if you are admitted, it would be on a provisional status, meaning you are able to register only for the first term and you would not be able to receive an I-20 or financial aid. But once you submit those official transcripts, then you would be fully admitted and can receive an I-20, financial aid, and other benefits that require full admissions. Especially if you are relying on full admissions right away, we recommend submit all your official documents ASAP and don't wait until after the decision has been made. If you have recently graduated and your degree is not yet conferred, make sure you request that the transcript after your degree is conferred. Otherwise, the transcript will not show your degree awarded, which we won't be able to use. You are also able to apply our graduate programs while you're enrolled in your last semester. In addition to the other regular admission requirements, you'll need to submit the official transcript from your current institution sh showing your degree in progress and a degree verification letter confirming your expected graduation date. The letter can be from the registrar's office or your academic advisor. Then, once you obtain the letter, you can upload it into your account. If admitted, you would then be required to submit the final official transcript showing your degree conferred. Again, only request the transcript after your degree has been conferred. For your resume, the additional, uh, the admissions committee takes into account uh, both your academic and your professional background. 
definitely include all of your academic experience and any related professional experience, whether it has been in the past or something you're currently doing. Overall, you may add additional documents to strengthen your application, such as standardized test scores, letters of recommendation, certificates, and other documents. You may email these additional documents directly to us and we'll add them to it for you. The best part about all of this is that the GRE is not required. So aside from the additional requirements for our graduate programs, program specific requirements highlight the kind of requirements that are specific to the degree program of your interest. It's the background knowledge that the admissions committee looks for in a potential candidate. In addition, if an applicant does not necessarily have the adequate background that's needed for a particular degree program, they may be required to take one or more prerequisite courses during the first semesters of the program. I highly recommend looking into the program specific requirements on our website before applying. And I'll show you at the end of the presentation where this can be found. Also, I recommend attending our academic program guidance webinar next Wednesday, where we'll dive a little deeper into this. For international students, in addition to the requirements listed, you will need a foreign transcript evaluation if your degree was completed outside of the US and an English proficiency score if English is not your native language. We would not need the official university transcript for transcripts that you have evaluated or require evaluation and allow plenty of time to submit evaluation reports and test scores as the processing and sending of these documents could take some time. And as a reminder, if you need an I-20, you must be fully admitted. So we recommend submitting all official documents as soon as you can. Now let's take a look at those term dates and deadlines. Our MS programs have three terms in a year. They're winter, summer, and fall. There are two eight-week sessions in the fall and winter terms and one eight-week session in the summer term, totaling five eight-week sessions a year. Since there are 10 courses per MS program, if you take two courses at a time, which is considered full-time, you could complete the degree in one year, which is especially great for working professionals. Please note, if you, uh, if you have to take prerequisites, uh, it would be in addition to the 10 courses. And to ensure a decision is made on time for your desired semester, applications and all required documents must be ready for review at least one month prior to the start of term. We highly recommend submitting your application and all required documents by the preferred deadline. For international students, we actually recommend submit submitting all documents at least two months prior to the start of the term. And your application is good for up to one year. So late applications that cannot be processed in time for the desired semester would be considered for the next available semester. Please keep in mind admissions decisions are made on a rolling basis. So we accept applications all year long. Let's take a look at the admissions process. The first step would be to apply online, and this would take about 24 to 48 hours to process. Then you would submit required documents by the preferred deadline. Once everything's submitted, the committee will review your application, and this could take one to two weeks. Once it's been reviewed, you'll receive a decision letter. And if you become unofficial <laughs> NSU shark, our advising staff will help you get registered for classes and get started as an official CCE student. Here, I wanna emphasize again that if you are provisionally admitted, uh, we recommend submitting your official documents as soon as possible in order to be fully admitted. Then you get to start with no stress. 
Now that you know about the process, let's talk about getting an account and applying. And I'm gonna show you how easy it can be. The first step is creating an account. And when you do this, you wanna make sure to create a new graduate account. Keep in mind, the email you sign up with will be your permanent username for the application account. This means that you are able to change the email to which you receive communications from us, but when you sign back in, you would use the email that you originally created the account with as your username. If you ever forget your password, don't worry. Just click forgot your password on the screen and follow the instructions. There is also an 800 number at the bottom that you can call. The link to the application is apply.nova.edu, and I'll show you how to get there from our website at the end of the presentation, so stick around. The second step is starting the application. You can save the application and come back to it whenever you need. Make changes like the term or the major. The third step is really exciting, submitting the application. Once submitted, if you need to make changes to the term or major, just let us know and we'll be happy to update it for you. The fourth step is submitting documents or supplemental items. And this is where you can view your application status, see all required documents listed, and upload certain documents such as your resume. Now, let me show you our website and how to get around. The front page of our website has been recently <laughs> updated, so everything is really easy to use and see. You get to see some of the organizations that we're a part of, and right here you can apply online. And my favorite part that I love to point out are the alumni success stories because I think it provides nice inspiration as to what you can look forward to in the years ahead. Now, let me take you to the apply page and you can access this from the top right. From here, you can access the apply or application portal and see you wanna click the graduate and professional. If you need additional information, you can click the menu button right up here and look into our admissions button here you get some useful information, including financial aid, scholarships, graduation tuition or graduate tuitions and fees. And right here is all the information that we talked about during the presentation. This is going to be your favorite menu option, the MS requirements. Here you get listed the term dates and deadlines admission requirements broken down for you, program specific admission requirements. And if you click in here, it goes to program by program. And here you see the international admission requirements also broken down for you. Also in the admission section, you can view our hottest jobs, frequently asked questions, a page specifically for international students, and our contact page where you can book an appointment online. And if you'd like to see some more admission events, then you can click on our admission event page, which lists some of the events that we have coming up and it's really easy. You probably did it for this event. You can click in here and it takes you directly to the uh, registration portal. If you miss anything, don't worry. We have everything recorded for you on our YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel, we have uh, events, webinars, videos for you to look at with helpful information. And uh, while you're on the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you're always up to date with what's going on at the CCE.
And before we begin the Q&A, I want to thank you all again so much for joining the MS application webinar today. Uh, this presentation will be available on the CCE's YouTube page for future reference, just like you saw before. And feel free to share this with others who might be interested. We understand that you might have questions that are specific to you and that may affect your admission. So feel free to reach out to us and we're more than happy to assist. You can call us at 954-262-2031 or send us an email at computing at nova.edu. We also encourage you to book an appointment. Uh, this is a great way to get to know more about the programs you're interested in and what might work best for you. You can also stay connected with us on social media through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Now, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Levin Lee, who will assist you with your questions. You can type questions in the Q&A box or raise your hand if you prefer to speak. Levin Lee? Thank you, Angelica. Hello, everyone. As Angelica stated, my name is Levin Lee. I am one of the admission counselors, and I'm here to assist you with any questions that you may have. So this is a great time to put, you know, put your hands up or, you know, click on the a pan button or type in your question on the chat box or the Q&A if you have any questions. So and also um, accompanied with me is my colleagues, Bao Chang and also Emily. So therefore we are here to answer any questions that you have. Don't be shy, <laughs> we're waiting for you. This is the best time that if you have any questions, we are here to help you answer those questions. Anything that has to do with admission requirements or the application process, uh, we are here to answer your questions. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead and type in your Q&A or if you have any questions, like I stated before, uh, you can click on the raise your hand and you can uh, mention what you would like to say. Again, um, oh. We have a little question here. Um, you're from, okay, I am from India. And the ways evaluation report is enough or do I have, do I have to send the transcripts by electronically or by post? Okay, uh, let me understand your question. Your question is you're from India and uh, you have your ways a report. All right, therefore, uh, we do recommend that you can contact the um, agency, you contact Waze and form them to send your official copy of your evaluation report directly to Nova Southeastern University, uh, which is the mailing address. Now, to send it electronically, I'm not sure if they would do that, but I would recommend for you to contact Waze to see if they have that uh, format to send your report directly to Nova. Again, contact Waze and let them know, which is World Education Services, let them know that you want to, you want your official transcript to send actually your official transcripts directly to Nova, all right? Now, if they have sent you a copy that's sealed, then you would need to send it by mail, all right? Hope I answered your question.
You're welcome. I'm glad you got it. Perfect. All right, everyone. Anyone has any other questions? We have a few minutes. Um, this is a great time. Um, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and type in. If you don't have a question at this time, you can always uh, set up an appointment with us um, by logging into our um, actually by going to our website, computing.nova.edu, and to contact us, and uh, you can set up an appointment. Again, um, my name is Levinly, and also my colleagues Bao or Emily, we all can assist you just by setting up an appointment if you don't have any questions at this time. And really quickly while we're here, uh, let me just show you in regards to the question about the uh, address to send the transcript to. I'll go ahead and um, go back to the website uh, and show you where that can be found. So if you go back to our admissions page, the graduate admissions, and then go into MS requirements, the admission requirement tab. And right here, you'll see where the transcripts can be sent via uh, snail mail. <laughs> Thank you, Angelica. And we have an additional question. Okay. If I can't submit the required documents soon for fall in type, can I apply for the winter and take with the same application? Yes, you do not need, if you already started an application and um, you want to log back in, you don't need to start a new application. That same application could will roll over for the following term. Just let us know by sending an email uh, that you are uh, requiring to defer your application for the following term. Now, if you haven't started an application, it's up to you whenever you want to start. We do have three terms. We have fall, winter, and summer. It's really up to you when you are ready to submit your application. Okay? Hope I answered your question. Angelica, if you can uh, scroll down a little bit and, and show the terms and deadline and they could see where their application, um, they could be rolled over. But at this moment in time, we are working on the winter uh, term dates and deadline. But for the time being, for the fall, of course, the um, Deadline, I should say the preferred deadline, of course, as you can see, is July 23rd. And as my colleague Angelica mentioned, that for international students, it's best to submit your paperwork and work on your paperwork two months prior to July 23rd, which would be June 23rd. Um, again, no rush. It's really up to you when you decide to submit your application. If you have started your application, send us an email letting us know that you would like to defer your application for the following term. This is to avoid for you not to pay another $50 because once you, sub once you um, submit your application, remember it's good up to one year and it's not refundable. So again, there's so many ways. And again, if you need clarity, and you need to talk to someone to know about the details, please set up an appointment with us and we will explain to you in details the steps. Hope I answered your question.
All right, we have a couple of minutes. If there are any other questions, please go ahead and type them in. And again, you can book your appointments with us just by clicking on the, you can uh, book me, I should say <laughs> booking with me, just by clicking there, you can choose, you have access to our calendar, which is the best thing. And once you've done that, you can, uh, matter of fact, <laughs> Angelica, there you go. Thank you, Angelica. This is me, everyone. So just by selecting the best time for you and the date, you have access to my calendar. And by doing that, it will give you a confirmation that our meeting has been confirmed. And once the date that you submitted your appointment, I will, I will receive an information and I will contact you moving forward to assist you and to have an option to talk to you by phone or by Zoom one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And we can take our time and making sure that you are going through the right path pursuing your degree. Okay, any other questions? One thing I would like to add as well, when you're selecting your time slot, make sure you choose the, 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 the time zone for your benefit, um, spe specifically for the international students, so that it's easier to be sure that uh, if you would like to talk to me during the morning time, I believe some of you may have evening, um, evening, um appointments available for you so when you make sure when you are sending your appointment setting up your appointment be sure to click on where angelica just clicked selecting your uh your country um your region your time zone thank you angelica so that you your time is set correctly okay We have a few more minutes. If there are any other questions, please, you may go ahead and type it in the chat box or in the Q&A session. And if you'd like to stay connected with us, please, as you can see, we have our social media icons here, which is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. We do have great events, everyone. I recommend for you to go ahead and get in and connect with us. All right, everyone, don't be shy. I'm here. I'm here to answer all your questions.
Okay, everyone. Well, that concludes our graduate admissions webinar. Thank you again, everyone, for joining us. And thank you again, Lovingly, for all the help in guiding us through the questions. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and joins us for our future wonderful events. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.